Hi, friends. It's good to be with you again midweek for another devotional. Last week, I was in my bedroom praying. I was walking around. As I, that's my pattern. And I noticed out of the corner of my eye, on top of my armoire, was this rock. And I had written this a handful of years ago when I was going through a major health crisis, a deep season of suffering for me personally. And I wrote Psalm 68, 19 on it, which says, Blessed be the Lord who daily bears us up. God is our salvation. And so I thought this would be a timely thing um, for me to share about today. So if you read Psalm 68, it's this psalm that celebrates God's glory and his bigness. God is pictured as a warrior. He's high and exalted, lifted up above Israel and over Israel's enemies. And it speaks of the exodus from their slavery in Egypt and speaks of their conquest of the promised land. So God is exalted. He's high and mighty. And then tucked away here in this verse uh, 19 is embedded this picture of a very personal God who comes to meet with you every day. It says, who daily bears us up. So verse 33 says, God rides in the heavens. And so the same God who rides in the heavens is the same God who comes to meet you personally every day. And that's what we have pictured here in Psalm 19. So the, I love the word, and the reason it resonates with me is daily. He daily bears us up. In so many ways, he sustains us and he carries us. That's the picture here. And if you think about the Lord's Prayer, when Jesus taught us to pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread. So if you've eaten food today, God has already shown himself strong on your behalf and faithful to you by bearing you up physically. So every day, God meets you to bear you up and he bears us up physically, he bears us up spiritually and emotionally. So this season of suffering that, that I, I was mentioning some years ago, I had what's called partial seizures. And so a generalized seizure, the electricity kind of gets all messed up in your brain and, and you, you go unconscious and you pass out. So a partial seizure is kind of a localized area of your brain in which there's abnormal electrical activity. And so it kind of short circuits in a, in a localized part of your brain. And what would happen for me in those moments is my brain would sort of just kind of go blank. And sometimes I could make myself speak and other times I, I literally, I couldn't move my tongue. I would try to speak and I literally couldn't move my tongue. And so what I learned through that time is how dependent I am upon God's sustaining grace for me, how much he bears me up that I literally cannot even utter a word unless God enables my body to do so. So if you woke up this morning and you opened your eyes, it's because God enabled you to do that. You're, he was bearing you up physically. If you got out of bed, that's grace to you. If you walked to the sink and, or the faucet and you got cold water, that's his grace to you, bearing you up. So he bears us up in a million ways, a million ways that we don't even notice, that we don't even see. He also bears us up physically, emotionally, and spiritually. If you think about this time that we're in, in this quarantine, I, ha I have realized how much God bears me up through in-person Christian fellowship, which is easy to take for granted. I know that we're all kind of feeling that now when we can't be together. But I've noticed, especially in the absence of being able to be with my Christian brothers and sisters, just how much God uses that to bear me up and to sustain me. So the promise still stands for us today. If you're in Christ, if you're one of God's people, even now the promise stands for you that God will bear us up and he will sustain you and he will carry you. So if you're in depression, if you're in anxiety, if you're filled with fear, dread, uncertainty, then my hope and my prayer is that you will meditate on this word daily. This phrase daily bears us up. God is our salvation. He is your salvation.